Welcome back to Movie On. Today I'm going to explain the movie called The Blue Lagoon from 1980. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. And I hope you enjoy it. This story is about two kids who get lost in the South Pacific Ocean. When they grow up, emotional and physical changes occur in their body and they fall in love with each other. The movie begins with a family who's sailing to Europe. In the ship, there's a nine-year-old boy named Richard and a seven-year-old girl, Emmeline. They're cousins. Richard's father and a cook are also on the ship. There are some other people on the ship as well, but somehow the ship catches on fire. Therefore, the cook, Patty, gets on a lifeboat with the kids. The other people were safe as well, but due to the fire in the ship, the surrounding area gets covered with heavy smoke. Thus, they can't keep up with the others. They find themselves alone in the huge Pacific Ocean. One morning, Emmeline wakes up and sees a beautiful island in front of them. So she wakes up the others as well, and Patty is thrilled to see it. They go to the island. There's so many birds drinking water, and there's so much food as well. They're all so happy to reach the island. At least, now they can stay alive here. But suddenly, they find a can full of rum. Meanwhile, Richard finds a human skull, and Patty is not feeling well after seeing this. Therefore, they immediately run away from there. Patty tells Emily not to eat the red berries since they are poisonous, and if someone eats it, they'll die. Patty's also teaching Richard how to catch fish. Along with this, he teaches him how to make a shed. He also teaches him so many other things as well. One night when the kids are sleeping, Patty is drinking some rum, but suddenly he hears a noise, and it was coming from the other side of the island. In the morning, he goes to the place to look for the noise, and he finds some meat and blood on a rock. After seeing this, Patty immediately runs away from there. At night, he tells the kids not to go to the other side of the island. There's something in the island that Patty's scared of. One night, Patty is really drunk. He's dancing with the kids for some time and falls asleep beside the fire. And then the kids also fell asleep. But in the middle of the night, Patty wakes up and goes to the other side of the island with a can of rum. In the morning, Richard and Emmeline look for him and find him. They take the boat to go to him, but they see that Patty was dead. The kids are frightened, realizing that they're totally alone, now that Patty's dead. They put their belongings on the boat and go to the island nearby, and they followed all the instructions that Patty had taught them. They build a shed to live in, and that's how they spend many of their days together. Now they've grown up, and they've learned to live here, and they're pretty happy. As they've grown up, they are now attracted towards each other. They're noticing physical changes in their bodies, but they don't understand the feeling and there's no one who could explain the feelings to them. One day, Emmeline is swimming, but suddenly she sees blood in the water and gets really scared. She immediately calls Richard, but later she notices that the blood was coming out of her own body. Actually, it was her first period. When Richard comes there, he sees the blood in the water, but Emmeline tells him to go away. Later, Richard asks Emmeline about the bleeding. Emily tells him she doesn't know what it was. Richard thinks somehow she was injured and that's why he wants to see it. But Emmeline doesn't let him and tells him nothing. Thus, Richard gets mad at her and leaves. He tells her that she has so many secrets that she never shares with him. Emmeline is also attracted towards Richard, and Richard also looks at her naked body. He was physically attracted towards Emmeline. One day, Emmeline and Richard hear the sound of drumming in the distance. Emmeline goes towards the sound, and Richard is catching a fish. When she gets on top of the island, she finds out that the sound is coming from the other side of the island that they left. Emmeline goes a bit further and finds a sculpture. When she goes closer to the sculpture, she sees that blood was coming out of it. Emmeline gets scared and runs away from there and goes to Richard. She tells Richard about the sculpture, but Richard gets mad at her because she went to the other side of the island. One night, when Emmeline is sleeping, she has a nightmare that Richard is drowning in the water and he dies. Therefore, she wakes up and she's scared so she hugs Richard. She tells him to promise that he'll never leave her. Richard promises, and then he kisses her. But Richard can't control his feelings, and he tries to have sex with her. Emmeline gets angry with him and leaves. At night, when Emmeline was sleeping, Richard silently comes to her and touches her body. But Emmeline wakes up and tells him to go away. Richard is getting too attracted towards Emmeline, but he doesn't understand his own feelings. In the morning, Richard is going somewhere, and Emmeline asks him where he's off to, but Richard refuses to talk to her. Therefore, Emily goes after him. She sees that Richard is heading somewhere, but doesn't understand what he's doing. 
She calls after him, but Richard's mad at her. One day, Richard sees a ship in the ocean, so he immediately runs towards his house, because he had gathered some wood to give a signal to the ship. Emmeline also sees the ship, but she doesn't light the wood on fire. Richard asks her why she didn't light the fire. Actually, Emmeline loves the island, and she wants to live there, but Richard doesn't want to live here at all. So he makes a boat and puts some food on it and leaves alone. After sailing for a while, his boat breaks and he comes back to the island. Emmeline makes fun of him and she tells him that she knows what he was up to. Richard says it's wrong that she's spying on him, but Emmeline counters saying that he does the same thing when she gets naked. Richard also makes fun of her, therefore Emmeline throws a coconut at his head and Richard slaps her. Richard goes home and throws away all the stuff from Emmeline. He tells her that he's the one that built the house, so she has no right to stay there. So Emmeline has to stay in a tiny cave while it's pouring rain. Because of the argument, they were living apart. Meanwhile, Emmeline goes to put some flowers on the sculpture. She thought that this was a god. As she's coming back, she steps on a poisonous fish, and she gets sick. Richard doesn't see her for a long time, so he goes to the cave to check on her. He sees that she's very sick, and asks her what happened. Emmeline tells him that she stepped on a fish, and it felt like a stone. Richard is very worried about her. Emmeline tells him to take her to the god. Actually, she calls the sculpture her god. Richard takes her there, and after resting for a while, Emmeline gets better, and they start spending their time together once again. One time, they're eating fruit, but then they start to kiss each other, and they have sex. This was the first time they had sex. Now they're able to understand this feeling, and they're so happy about it. They started to stay together all day and all night. So many days passed just like this. One day, Richard sees that Emmeline is not feeling well. He asks her if she loves him anymore. Emmeline says that's not it, it's just that she's not feeling well. She feels like there's something inside her belly. Richard puts his hand on her belly and feels some movement. Richard asks her how she moved her belly like that, but Emmeline says she doesn't know. It was moving on its own. They had no idea that Emmeline is pregnant. In the evening, Richard hears some sounds and he follows it. Then he sees that there's some other people on the island. Actually, they were tribal people, and they killed their own man to satisfy their god. Richard gets scared after seeing this and comes back. When he comes back, he sees that Emmeline is screaming in pain. It's time for her delivery, and she gives birth to a baby with the help of Richard. They're very happy to see their new child, and they go back to their home with the baby. But the kid keeps on crying. Richard thinks maybe he's hungry, so he feeds him some fruit and water. But a newborn baby can't eat or drink these things. They had no idea about what they should do. But suddenly, Emmeline breastfeeds him, and the baby stops crying. After that, Richard tells her not to go to the other side of the island ever again. One day, Richard goes back to the island with his boat, and he finds Patty's skeleton, and he tries to learn the body structure from the skeleton. They are loving life with their new baby. One day, Richard sees that Emmeline is teaching the baby how to swim. And just like that, the kid grows up and now he knows how to swim. They would always play together. The baby had become their own world. One day when they were playing on the beach, Richard's dad comes to the island with his ship, and he sees Richard and Emmeline, but he thinks that maybe they were tourists. Therefore, they're leaving. Richard and Emmeline also see the ship, but they don't want to go back because they're happy there. One day they go to the old island where they had come with Patty, and they find their old stuff and recall their old memories. Meanwhile, the kid puts some poisonous berries on the boat. While returning to their island, the kid drops the paddle of the boat by mistake. Emmeline tries to get it back, but she can't. That's why she calls Richard. Richard was behind them to get some fruit. He comes there and jumps into the water, but then we see that there's a shark after him. To save his life, Emmeline throws the other paddle towards the shark. Now they don't have anything to paddle back to the island, and they're stuck in the middle of the ocean. They have no food or water, and they can't tolerate the hunger and thirst. And they also have a baby with them, and they get very worried. Two days have passed like this. Because of the hunger, the kid ate some of the berries, and Emmeline sees this, but they had nothing to do. That's why Richard gives half of the berries to Emmeline and keeps the other half to himself. They decide to die like their kid by eating the berries, but the kid is still alive. He was just sleeping. They eat the berries and fall asleep. Richard's father sees the boat and goes to it immediately, and he sees that they're all still alive. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last I will say, 
Stay safe, stay well, thanks.